Hey everyone, what's up? Yeah, I'm using the regular camera mic right now because my other mic is uh, battery died on me. <laughs> Guess I have to turn it off instead when I'm not using it. But I'm here to give you an overview of one of my news figures. I think this just came out this year. It's, it's of course it's labeled 2018. I mean 2017, but I think it just came out this year. I'll have to look at the reviews on Amazon. Uh, matter of fact, I I think we'll see how far this goes. out this year because a lot of the reviews on Amazon are from January and this and this month so what a way to end this month anyway uh, reviewing one of my news figures uh, Tempest Shadow and this is the lightning glow Tempest Shadow from the movie and um, what's interesting about this is Tempest isn't the only uh, figure um, out there so to speak that glows now. You got, of course, the um, Shining Friends. Uh, you got the main six and the Shining friend, Friends uh, molds. I'll probably talk, to, talk about those in the, in the future. And, of course, you got Glitter and Glow Celestia, which is pretty cool. And Celestia actually has her own display at my job, along with a lot of uh, mystery bag figures and you know, all about me pony figures that you can put, I think, on the Sequestria, Equestria, the Sequestria Cantalot set and all that. So, but anyway, this is, uh, this one obviously just came out this year because I don't see it in stores. It's not an exclusive anywhere. So, that's, that's good to hear. So, eventually, these are going to pop up in the retail stores, like at my, at my job and maybe Target, if Target doesn't already have it and stuff like that. But here is the box right here. This is the box. We'll move Tempest for a second. Uh, this is the box she came in. And you can tell it's got like a little symbol here. In which, you know, you can press a cutie mark when it was on display. It's kind of a rough edged. I was thinking maybe you could take that off a little bit. But apparently you can't. You can probably see what I'm talking about. Like it's kind of edgy. Like you could take it off and use it. But you can't. But overall, it looks really not nice. the box. I think the box art, the box art is really nice. So I really like that. And you got Tempest smiling right there. And then of course on the side, uh, you have a picture of Tempest. And this is what I was talking about in my live stream on Monday, my massive Monday package opening deal. It's like they're trying to uh, make Tempest look very attractive. You know, kind of like. You give you you know give fans a little bit of a run run for the money when it comes to the waifus if you will. But yeah, basically you can tell just how they got Tempest uh, drawn up here. It's almost like they're trying to get a little bit of that sexiness, attractiveness out of the character. But I think there's another reason why they waited till now to release the the figure as well because. As you could read right here, I don't know if you could read that, it pretty much says exactly what this does. It says, friendship gives her the greatest power she'll ever know. So basically, they, I, I'm, I'm assuming they wanted to wait until, um, until the movie was out, after, until after the movie was out, uh, to release her figure. Because if they would have released this around the time the movie was was coming out, and nobody had seen the movie yet, pretty much just by looking at her, how they drew her on the cover here and on the sides, um, if you will, as well. Oh, and then of course reading that description, that pretty much gives away uh, what happens in the movie. So. Um, overall, it's a nice little box. You can see Tempest is also on the top as well. So, very nice little box that she came in. 
And now let's take a look at the figure herself. The figure I actually kind of like. Now her cutie mark is not on the other end, on the other side. Unfortunately, her cutie mark is not on the on the other side. Unfortunately, there is no cutie mark there. But overall, it's really I really like the sculpt here because. You know, it is dark because apparently this is what she's known for having, uh, this outfit. Even though I think they're going to probably, even though I think Build-A-Bear allows you to have the option, and there's other figures that allow you to have the option where you can snap on her her uh, armor, if you will, or her outfit, and snap it off and she can just be a regular pony. Um, but yeah, I, I like the design. The the hair I, I like it's very silky and shiny. You kind of uh, see that they put a lot of detail and kind of making it a little glittery, a little shiny here. So that was pretty cool. Overall, it's not too bad. Her head can rotate, as, as you could see. Her head her head does rotate, so that's pretty nice right there. You gotta rotate on the head, so that's pretty cool. And again, the tail and stuff is really shiny. It looks like you definitely tell that they mixed in a little bit of the normal... Uh, they mixed in basically a normalness of what they use for the hair on the ponies along with more of that kind of uh, silk, kind of like shiny hair, that shiny fabric or whatever it's called. Uh, shiny tinsel, if you will. They kind of added that into the hair, so that's pretty nice. Again, the overall sculpt's good. Uh, definitely a great pose for her to have. Uh, you could definitely tell on the back they put a lot of detail. And uh, the back here, you could tell right about, I think it's, let me see if I can find it. it. It tells me what battery she takes. It's got instructions for her somewhere. I have to look. She takes one AA battery. And I think, if I'm f looking right, it's right behind here. Yeah, that's where the battery goes, I believe. you got to open up this end, believe it or not, for the battery to go in, I think. So, um, yeah, there's, there's a screw somewhere. I'll have to look the instructions up because i got several uh, lithium batteries that I could probably use for her, for her in the future if anything happens. The battery in there right now is kind of a demo battery, of course, that comes with it, so it's pretty much free. So, overall, it's really nice. It's a little bumpy. At times, I like the sculpt's kind of bumpy, but it's to emphasize her her armor and everything, so it's good. Overall, the facial design is nice. I like the fact that it's very movie accurate, so very movie accurate there. On that, and then of course uh, on the back here, if you're looking for the pony uh, symbol, it's right about uh, right there. I think I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's right it's right on this hoof, the the pony symbol, and then of course the the numbering of, you know, what number she is and stuff. So. Um, but of course the biggest feature is her lightning glow, basically, you know, making her go on and off. So what you do is you touch the cutie mark. The, the, the one it was displayed in the box, the cutie mark was like, like right about here. So the, the way you display, so the way you turn this on is you go to the cutie mark, which is here, you press it, and it lights up. As you can see, it kind of lights up really nice. And then you press it again, and it does like a flashing motion. And then you press again, and it kind of stays on for a little longer. It does that, which is nice. Then I think it just repeats... Well, it actually stays on a little longer there. Yeah, but it's just three set. It looks like it's just three settings. That one, this, the flashing one. And then, of course, the slow glow and all that. So, overall, pretty good. Um, she was about, I think, $19.99, I think. I'm not really sure. She might be cheaper, depending on where you get her. But overall, a very nice figure, very nice movie accurate figure. Really enjoyed it. Again, you could tell that they put a little bit of the, what no, I call the tinsel-like hair uh, mixed in with the hair to give her more of that shininess to it. So, um, so yeah, really nice. It's just a really nice figure. 
Overall, I would definitely highly recommend her for any bronies and Pegasisters that like to collect. Uh, she's definitely worth it in the end. Because, uh, you know, sooner or later, you're not going to see many Tempest figures out there. I mean, you will see Tempest shadow figures, but you won't see as many as you, you're used to seeing uh, at, at most times. So, um, overall, I would highly recommend getting this uh, when you get a chance. And it's really worth every penny down when you get a chance when you get a chance to to get it. Um, overall, I mean, I I ended up getting it off Amazon through my store card, so I'm just thank thankful to God that I'm able to use that to get something like this. So overall, definitely worth definitely a nice uh, figure, definitely worth part of your collection. And that's all really I'm gonna say. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. And that's pretty much going to do it for my uh, overview and review of the, temp of the Lightning Glow Tempest Shadow uh, figure from My Little Pony the Movie. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Talk to you all later.